Hey Capricorns, and welcome to your August 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. Um, and wow, Capricorns, uh, check y'all out. You are um, dealing with a lot in August. You know, have you survived? Have you done okay? We came out of that incredible Plutonian solar eclipse that happened in um, your opposite sign of Cancer and opposed Pluto, who's been in your sign for like 5,000 years now. And um, how are you doing since then? Um, there's a lot for you guys to work through here and now as pretty much everything that's been an issue or everything that's been a problem in your life comes forward and kind of starts to wave goodbye in this month of August. So you might feel throughout this entire month that, um, that everything's kind of difficult or everything's kind of problematic, but that's only because it's going, like it's leaving. It's, you know, reminding you one more time and it's saying goodbye um, so I feel like the most important thing for Capricorn moving into August is to realize that problematic things are going, troublesome things are going, tricky, lying energies are dissipating, and you have to maybe greet them as they go. It's a weird concept, um, as I feel Capricorn does have to, to see their involvement in how these things became so prevalent in their lives, but also has to be ready to let them go, too. Um, definitely a month where, you know, if you're in a codependent relationship, if you've been in a, like, um, a non-ending cycle of grief that you can't get over, if you've been stuck somewhere, stuck in debt, stuck in a job that you don't like, those things have to be seen this month, and those things have to be, um, somewhat transmuted, somewhat. It's not necessarily meaning that you have to, you know, leave your job if you don't like it, or you have to get a divorce if things just aren't quite perfect in your marriage, but it is important, very important, for Capricorn to, like, make it real, to realize, okay, this person has been cheating on me, or okay, um, this company has been cheating me out of, you know, money, like they pay someone who does the same thing as me, very much more, but for some reason they think that I won't leave regardless of my salary. There's a lot of things like where Capricorn isn't given what they're deserved and um, they're asked to sort of make that apparent or make that at least clear within themselves this month so that it can begin to change. As I feel that with Pluto doing what it's doing and having had that eclipse, like something so powerful came into your life last month and is now um, leaving or is now waning and eclipsing. It could, have, it could have even been something that had been there for a long time. But there is movement. There is strong movement this month for Capricorn in things related to Plutonian ideals, you know, money, power, death, rebirth, um, transformations. All of those things are very accentuated and emphasized this month for you. And especially from the standpoint of, you know, what of those things in your life need to go because there's a lot that needs to go I feel like you have some you know traditionally more difficult energies coming up six of pentacles five of cups seven of swords and you're like really wonderful wands cards in that first week are reversed so um, I don't really feel Capricorn to be doing much worse for wear than they do in general because um, I'm not feeling that you guys are in fact I'm feeling like you're actually one of the more healthy signs this month one of the more um, able to, you know, collect yourself, you know, having a good, clear train of thought, not too anxious, not too paranoid, not too worried, a good um, chemical endocrine activity in the body for Capricorn. And th there is an essence of recovery having to happen as well for Capricorn in August, because just because July was so potent for you, I mean, um, Mars will be going retrograde back into your sign this month in August, and you've already had Saturn and Pluto there. And um, that's just a lot to have with the cancer stuff that happened in July, and it was just, it was potent for you guys. And I kind of am impressed at how healthy your energy as a whole seems after something like that. You know, like I said, a lot of the other signs are like going crazy with like much smaller energy shifts. So um, we all have something to learn, I think, from you, Capricorn. Let us know in the comments below what you've been doing to stay healthy, what you've been doing to keep your mind like, um, you know, anxiety free or, you know, at least controlled in that way, because you have an incredible control incredible, incredible control of your body and your mind that has developed and formed, I feel, probably from just having Pluto in your sign for, like, I think 10 or 11 years right now, um, so you've just had to adjust to that, and you're finally, like, really growing strength, and this does feel like a mark a marking period for you, as there are no major arcana 
uh, cards in your reading. So there's just a lot of, you know, small things which come up that have to be dealt with. Um, and it starts to mark you, I feel, in about September um, that you are given the Pluto power after having had to um, really balance it for such a long time and finally being able to breathe, finally being able to work with that and reap some of the benefits and gifts because Pluto is a very beneficial gifting energy after you learn how to work with it responsibly. So um, owning up is beautiful this month, Capricorns, for you. Um, telling the truth. People will respect you so much for being truthful this month. And that's kind of something for everybody I've been feeling, actually, but I've just realized it in your reading. Um, truth is so respectable, transparency. Um, you gain so much power and Plutonian richness and wealth and resource through showing your truth and transparency in you know, your sort of regal and incredible way. So remember that this month as you're moving through and remember your own honesty with yourself, your dialogues with yourself. Are you being truthful with yourself? Are you being honest with what you want and why you want it? Um, that will be the best place to start. Um, and you will see that as you develop that honesty with yourself, you will see that people who have abused that in the past um, will fade and you they will be replaced. And that's the incredible thing about, you know, the aftermath of eclipses is anything that fades because it's, done your disservice is replaced with something inevitably um, and you get to choose um, what you want that to be truly um, through your honesty and transparency you develop and generate the benevolence of your future so anyway Capricorns I'm going to go ahead and get into the week to week we'll see what's coming up in the first week Capricorns you have two of wands rooted down by four of wands reversed um, they're both reversed so you know creativity traveling um, you know, passion, desires, purpose, those are changing up for you quite a lot. Um, you've been on a, a pretty long path with that since I would say about uh, mid-2016. You've been on like a really strong purpose path um, and you, you see a shift here. You're like, okay, I've been wanting to sell um, my book in this way. Now I think that I need to change that distribution up. I need to go with different publishing. I don't sense like the um, product itself or the uh, desire itself to change, but the way that you're putting it out there might change um, for sure. Uh, you might have to distribute things differently. You might have to market things differently. Um, I also feel that what once brought you a lot of satisfaction and a lot of joy and happiness has changed as well. So, you know, new taste, new aesthetic, new wardrobe, new like music enjoyment, like you like new genres, you perhaps don't like the same genres you used to like before, um, new types of romance you like as well too, like the type of person you like before you don't like anymore, and you see yourself being attracted to a new type of person, for those of you who are single, and um, you might also see that you're just not that attracted, period, some of you, that's not for all of you, don't let me freak you out, but um, when you have such strong Capricorn energy, it's not the most... Um, you know, animal magnetism type of energy when it's like Saturn and Mars and Pluto, you know, life becomes so heavy, you know, money, respect, prestige, all of those things start to become so focused on that, you know, one of two things can happen. Either you can see that your animal urges become very non-existent or they become like hyper. So that's something that Capricorn I feel is facing as well, which does need healing in August. So you know, your urges as a person, your desires, those things need to be, um, thought about here for sure, especially with Mars going retrograde back into your sign. You could see yourself becoming quite unconscious there and um, finding yourself delving into things which you never really needed to. There's a lot of that type of thing for Capricorn, and that's not um, severe for many of you, but it's good to know what you're wanting and why you're wanting it um, and not being so unconscious there um, for sure because it's changing. It's changing one way or another. And I also feel that you can experience healing in that vicinity as well. So you can meet somebody who um, gives you a lot of healing in that way. So that's a possibility too. Um, overall for the first week though, um, don't expect too much from other people relating to like your own happiness so you've got to make yourself happy you've got to fulfill yourself i feel that that's been an issue for capricorns for quite some time maybe even since pluto has been in your sign um since like 2008 there's you know like other people fulfilling you versus you fulfilling yourself expectations of other people expectations of yourself become quite misaligned and you've had to find it within yourself you know that's coming full circle here and you can get a lot of power through giving it to yourself for sure Week number two, six of pentacles rooted down by king of wands. I love that. That's like a desire to pay off debt. That's like a desire to, you know, get um, out of the red, to get, you know, back into the, back into, you know, financial prosperity. And also 
uh, relating to codependent relationships, like emotional debts, those things are getting back into prosperity as well. You're going to have creative solutions to um, really make your situation and experience of life much better. So you have more money to work with. You have more uh, benevolence from others to work with. I feel like this could be negotiating with credit lenders if you're in a lot of debt, you know, getting that interest rate better. Um, maybe some of you are making that last payment on credit cards or student loans or something. And that could be an incredible thing for a lot of Capricorns to do. If you have a lot of excess money right now, Capricorns, pay the debts. That's so good for you. Like the money will replace itself really quickly, no doubt. Um, because that's a lot of what Capricorn deals with. It is a debt sign. It's a um, interest sign. It's it's all about what you owe and what you're owed in life. So choices and um, not uh, because here I am second guessing myself a little bit. You don't want to be too spontaneous with it. You know, don't spend every cent in your bank account on debt and then not be able to feed yourself. You know, but um, if it makes sense to you, if you juggle the numbers and you know past your ego, you're like, yeah, I can do this. Do it, and you will like feel so much lighter, no doubt. Um, second week is a great time to pay a debt. A great time to remind someone of a debt they owe you. That could be as well. In a king of wands, like fiery, saggy type of way, like, you know, someone owes you money and you just kind of like, um, you know, you bring them food when you're not, you're like, I need my money. <laughs> I don't want to. That sounds very strange. But um, I sense Capricorn getting repaid in the second week. So even if that's not money, like if someone's owed you an apology or closure, you could get that then as well, which is really beautiful to see for you all. Um, third week, five of cups, you're down by king of pentacles reversed is closure what you thought it would be. So this is a closure month for Capricorn. Wow. That's what I really sense this eclipsing to be. Um, this eclipse that happened, the plutonium solar eclipse gave you closure or is in the process of giving you closure. Um, is it what you thought it would be? Um, I sense Capricorn's thinking about the past being quite nostalgic and, okay, that's kind of an interesting thing. I always like to look at the way the cards are laid out. You know, five of cups is all about looking at the cups that are overturned. But if you notice the seven of swords, which marks your central theme, is covering up the spilled cups, yet the five of cups is still looking at that. So that's an interesting thing. Rather than perhaps looking at what's gone wrong, you're, you're kind of obsessing a bit over a more present situation of something that was taken from you. And that's like eclipsing out what went wrong in the past. So there's sort of this layering. There's this layer of um, difficulty and pain that you've gone through, yet you're so much healthier than a lot of other signs in response to this, but that's not the point. Um, you have to not forget your nature, and I feel like you've got to turn your back. Like, I kind of want, like, three of wands energy to come up, although it's not here. Um, you've got to turn your back and look at those two cups, because there's, like, a never-ending black hole if you keep looking at the things that have gone wrong um with pluto there with the eclipse there um you know you're look you're trying to look at the cups that are overturned and it you know it pulls your attention to an entire another level of things that actually went wrong so some of you are gaining like closure you could have someone from your past come up and be like i never told you this but i cheated on you and it opens this entire pandora's box of like um secrets being revealed and you realize that wow five years ago I thought that I was just, you know, being crazy, or I thought that, you know, that person just, you know, took something else from me, but in reality, they did so much more. In reality, that person really um, did a lot more to me than I knew, and um, you can really get stuck in that if you're not careful. Don't dive headfirst into the Pandora's box, you know, turn, turn your back and walk, Capricorn. You've got to be in motion, you've got to be moving, cardinal sign. Um, Saturn's been retrograde, Mars is retrograde, there's a tendency to go backwards, and some of you will have to do that for a little bit of time there, but you've got to remember what you've got to turn your back on, and sometimes that's what closure is. Sometimes closure, more often than, you know, a sigh of relief or, um, you know, happiness in knowing the truth. Capricorn loves the truth. Scorpio loves truth. Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of Capricorn and Scorpio energy right now. Sometimes that can be to the detriment of you, Capricorn. Only is it good to know the truth when you can know it and leave it behind. When you know the truth and you start obsessing about how you could have been different in the past, it, can it work now? Um, th that becomes a problem and you kind of, you know, jumped headfirst into the Pandora's box black hole thing. <laughs>
And you have to remember, Capricorns, that when you do things like that, that's not Capricorn nature, King of Pentacles reversed, to sit there and obsess over pain or past problems or secrets which were never divulged to you. That takes you out of Capricorn space. That takes your Capricorn energy, which is, you know, um, begging to be used and begging to be implemented and to thrive. And that says, no, I'm going to be more like a Pisces. I'm going to be more like a Cancer. I'm going to be like a Scorpio. I'm going to be like a um, Virgo that's been hurt, you know. Um, you have to remember that Capricorn takes this, takes this pain, and turns it into something like an empire, or turns it into a house, turns it into something real, tangible. So don't forget your creativity, your songwriting, your art, your your creative um, possibility. You know, even if that's just changing up your aesthetic or something, you've got to turn this into something real and walk away from it. That's so important. Um, so important for you all. And fourth week, Ace of Pentacles, rooted down by Page of Pentacles. Check out all the Pentacles cards that start to pop up as you start to do that. You know, fourth week of August, you're you're turning it into something real. You're getting tangible with all of this. And all of a sudden, the money pours in. All of a sudden, the work pours in. The, the, um, the debt is secured or the escrow happens, whatever it is. Something, a really wonderful gift of tangible opportunities comes in the fourth week. But you have to walk into the fourth week. And I'm like banging my hands into my desk. I'm sorry, y'all. That was probably like really loud. I, I apologize for my headphone listeners. Um, but I'm getting like into this. Like y'all have to walk towards the Ace of Pentacles. Do you see Five of Cups? Do you see how they're like looking towards Seven of Swords and Six of Pentacles and all that reversed wand energy? And they're turning their back on Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, all that money, all of that benevolence, all of that new possibility, new income, new... Um, prospects in life, y'all will get stuck in the third week if you're not careful, and this can happen. Like, that sounds very superstitious, but you will you can get stuck in that energy if you choose to belabor those problems. You've got to turn around from Five of Cups and walk towards Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles because that's your next chapter. That's your next um, opportunity in life. Y'all hear me? Y'all feel it? Um, cause I know that y'all been feeling that for a long time. You know, it's not uncommon for those cards to come up to you. Like, you know, page of pentacles, ace of pentacles, very Capricornish energy. King of pentacles is like your card. Um, and you Capricorn have to transcend that seven of swords situation. Somebody may have taken a lot from you, taken money from you, taken assets from you, taken stability from you, taken your sanity. <laughs> um, it's time to creatively walk away from that and walk straight into the Ace of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Um, I don't have much more to say. That's pretty much it, Capricorns. Um, I'm not going to make things too complex because we all kind of like things to just be simple and, um, you know, direct. Walk away from that and walk towards your prosperity walk towards your prosperity. It's time. It's high time. Um, it's eclipsed out. The first three weeks of August, if you need to wallow a little bit, if you need to be in solitude, that's okay. I still don't necessarily recommend it. it. might be a bit inevitable for some of you, but by the fourth week of August, I want y'all walking away from that, I'm, and I want y'all walking towards your prosperity, because it will be so easy. Um, it will be harder, harder to stay in that emotionally perplexing, complex, difficult stage, then it will be to walk towards your prosperity. But sometimes Capricorn likes a challenge. So I would love it if y'all would do what's actually easy for you now and what's actually um, healing um, rather than doing what's hard because it's more difficult. <laughs> y'all are funny that way. But anyway, y'all will know what to do. You'll see the signposts. You'll see the opportunities in the third and fourth week. And I will be expecting in September to see y'all um, amidst prosperity. So much love. If you haven't had the opportunity yet to subscribe to my channel, I would so appreciate that. It really helps me out. Also, your likes and comments help me out as well. Please comment below. Like, um, I would love to see what Capricorns are doing to walk into prosperity, what they're doing with their routine. Um, we can all learn a little bit from you, I feel. And also, you can check the description box below. I'm on Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to reach out about a reading or anything else. Um, if you would like to get these readings early and ad-free, you can click the center of your screen to check out my Patreon page. Much love, Capricorns, and we will be talking soon. Bye.